Hey, this is Rampin' coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Yeah, give it up for me. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Make some motherfucking noise, main room. Comedy Store, Monday night. You just saw Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. This is Brian Redband What's in the up, motherfucking guys? house. Uh-oh. Ryan J. Ebelt is here drawing tonight's episode while you all sit there like lazy bums. He's drawing the episode. He has a blank sheet of paper in front of him right now. And uh, that's what he does. All those prints, including the Kill Tony poster, available at RyanJEbelt.com. Support yes. a great artist. It's Ryan J. Ebelt, everybody in the motherfucking house. You're going to see what he drew later tonight after the episode. You're going to see it. Because he's going to draw it right now. It's also the last uh, week to pre-order the new Kill Tony shirt. The uh, first ever and brand new Kill Tony official merch, yeah. shopsquad.tv. It's awesome. I'm yeah. wearing mine inside out right now. <laughs> I like to keep it close to my heart. Can I look at it? No. Oh. Oh, don't touch me. All right. It's one of the funny things is that you never have to touch me because it's a podcast. I know. It's been great the last four I'm years. Touching your, yeah. There you go. There you go. Don't try to think too hard, I'm, Brian. I'm just a, breathe. I was just, just keep. Just I was just going to say for the podcast users, I am touching you underneath the table. Did you hear how that joke went? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> don't 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 do that. Let's play real time. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, L.A. Speedweed, we love you. Who okay. loves marijuana? Huh? Comedy uh, fans? Huh? <laughs> L.A. Speedweed delivers pot directly to you. It's the Uber of pot. Um, life is good. Oh, I know what's up for you thousands and thousands listening to the hundreds and hundreds in this room. I am on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour the entire month of August and doing theaters and rock venues all around the United States of America. So that's a lot of fun. New special, taping it in September. We're going to be announcing that in the next couple weeks, exactly where that's going to take place. Are you guys ready to start the show or what? Every single week, I bring two of the funniest human beings in the world on this show. This week's no different. Put your hands together for the great Russell Peters and Steve-O. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Steve-O! And the great and powerful Russell Peters. Steve-O, you were scheduled to be on the show two weeks ago, and the day of your appearance, I got a text about an hour before the show saying, Steve-O tried to do a snow angel on fire, and he won't be able to make it here tonight. Right. Yeah, I was performing fire angels in a bed of rocket engine fuel. Yeah. Fire oh, angels. Steve-O. <laughs> When will you learn? <laughs> oh, man, God, it was fucked up, dude. And, and, and then uh, I, I went to the hospital. It seemed like it was cool. Next morning, I woke up with these hideous blisters all over me, and I was like, dude, I've been burned before. I'm going to power through it. And five days later, I fucking tapped out, man. I showed up at the hospital. I'm like, you guys got any numbing cream? And, and, and you know, because I don't want to take painkillers and shit. And, and they're like, yeah, we have numbing cream, but let's just check you in and, and, and get you looked at. Doctors looked at me. They said, Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck! You know, you need emergency surgery. So now I have the skin of seven different dead people grafted onto fifteen percent of my body. Is that true? I swear to God. And they're not all white. That's the worst part. <laughs> they're. A... Oh my God! Yeah, I got I got cadaver skin grafted onto fifteen percent of my body. You're a goddamn fucking zombie, bro. I... Yeah. You have the skin of dead people on you. Did, did they did only white people, or do you have like one black guy? I, I don't think I just that. did that joke. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 forty-five <laughs> seconds. Ago. Jesus, this is why I'm telling you to breathe and listen, Jesus. Brian. Just keep you breathing just, and listening. You play your fake turntable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve-O, question: Are there any black people's skins on your back? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's not. This doesn't look like you might imagine it might. You'd think it looks like, like beef jerky kind of. But it's like maybe it's like all maybe it's all the skins. Maybe they put them in like a blender, mixed them together, and you have a nice like Russell Peters shake to you. Uh, we fucked up. They use foreskins. <laughs> <laughs> fucking elbow keeps popping out. <laughs> Russell, welcome back to the show. Uh, you are one of our favorite guests. Welcome back. Everything good in your life? No Everything fire is... angels on jet fuel no, or anything no, like that? I, uh, I'm too hairy for that shit, Tony. <laughs> I, uh, no, you I tend think... to use jet fuel for your jet. 
Yeah, I tend to. Yeah, much that's better the best place for me. Much, I think. much better use. It's fucked up. You know, the worst part is for Steve is that he's sober and he did this. Yeah, that's, he doesn't even I, have an excuse anymore. <laughs> you know, I, I can't, I can't argue with that. <laughs> so how does it? Did you? I mean, do, do they have like special things to give you since you're sober? Like, or did you just uh, fucking cry for? Two weeks straight. The, uh, I, oh, dude, I was fucking hurting. Uh, when, when I got to the hospital and they said I needed surgery, they asked me, uh, when's the last time you ate? And I was like, well, I just ate. And they're like, okay, well, we can't operate on you for, for like fucking eight hours. So I had to like sit there and I'm like, okay, just give me fucking something. They couldn't put an IV in my arms because they're all burned up. So they put an IV in my neck oh. and just started putting fucking great drugs into it, you know? I hope you videotaped all of this, uh, Steven. All, all, all videotaped. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's see what kind of crazy shenanigans. Maybe we'll have some fire angels here tonight during this very fun episode of Kill Tony. I know you guys already saw them. You know who they are. You love them. A part of this show every single week. They commit to different characters. I never know what they're going to do. Every week's different. Put your hands together for them. It's the Kill Tony band. Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel, Joelberg, Jimenez. Oh, wow, I already know what this is. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Game of Thrones with the, with the Queen of Dragons. Uh, the uh, guy with no dick and uh, a warrior <laughs> of some kind, a Mexican warrior. Juan Snow. <laughs> and we have a special treat. Ah. Whoa! Look at this! Holy shit! Motherfucking Tyrion Lannister, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh off of the debut of season seven of Game of Thrones. The cast of Game of Thrones. For you podcast listeners, Jeremiah Watkins came in on the back of the bass player who's dressed like a dragon, and Jeremiah is in full Queen of Dragons garb right now. Oh God. Perhaps <laughs> slightly bigger tits than the actual Queen of Dragons. And he was dragging his balls on his back. Is it upsetting that like Jeremiah's kind of turning me on right now? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, dude, but you got a nice ass. <laughs> let's not let's not discount Brad Williams. I mean, yeah, I love this. This is powerful. by the way. Uh, when I when I walked in, Steve-O, your name is on the marquee, and it is impossible for me to walk in front of the comedy store with your name on the marquee without everyone thinking I'm fucking Wee Man. Right. Okay, like I'm fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some people were very disappointed. They're like, "Oh my God, we men's here!" I'm like, "No, I'm not, I'm not him." They're like, "Fuck you!" Like they literally yeah. said, "Fuck you!" Like, "No, you're him!" Like you, there, there can't be a midget and Stevo in the same building and have it not be we man. Like, there is, there is another little guy in the building. I saw him earlier. I Where is he? Check your, check the bottom of your chairs. If he's you get a midget. You get a midget. You get a midget. Great to see you, brother. Good Every, to see you, Brent. Everything is in position. The band is in its place. Our guests are here. Let's get to the motherfucking thing. I have a bucket called the Bucket of Destiny given to us from our friend Ichabod a few weeks ago. This bucket is filled with the names of comedians. Sometimes it's people trying it for the first time. Sometimes it's some of the best up-and-coming comics in the world. Sometimes it's a completely crazy person. You never know what's going to happen. It's filled with names. You get 60 seconds if I pull your name to perform. You get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That's what that sounds like. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. So do your time. You guys ready to start the show or what? Yes. Into the bucket of destiny my hand goes. What comes out? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll never believe it. The drummer and the legend of Kill Tony, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> uh, my brother is half black, half Mexican. My mom married twice. Uh, in our family, we call it Blacksican. White people just call him black. And the cops say, that's him. It's never him. I don't know what about his physical appearance makes them think it's him. 
It was him once. Uh, I'm so broke that I refer to things that people just do all the time as once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. <laughs> My friend's dad took me snowmobiling. We got to the top of the summit. He's like, what do you think? I was like, oh, it's amazing. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> and he was like, no, nah, we do this shit all the time. And then he yelled, this is Tahoe, and he kicked me into the snow. <laughs> Tight, that's it. All right, thanks. 52 seconds of Joel Jimenez. Well, there you go. Well. Boom. Does anybody here know how to play the drums? I think we're looking for a replacement. Uh, no, I'm kidding, Joel. That was fun. The black Mexican thing was a lot of math. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. You, you it, have was, a... it was hard to believe because you're wearing an Afro wig right now. I thought, it, you know, I was like, they're not, you know, whatever. All right. You so look you're... like your brother. <laughs> So your mom has, your brother's younger than you? My brother's older than me, yeah. Older than you. Yeah. So before she made you with a Mexican man, yeah. she... Wait, what are you then? I'm Mexican. She married my dad. I would say like, well, I learned once you go black, you marry a Mexican mechanic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you Looks go. Like Red Band's got the drummer's job. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah. So Joel, uh, how much older is your brother than you? Uh, he's like in his 40s, I think, yeah. Jesus, yeah. wow, that's how much old older, yeah. What about me? Yeah, I'm 30. You? How old's your mom? Probably 67. 17. Old enough. <laughs> She's probably younger than his brother. She's legal, don't worry. Interesting. Yeah. So when you were growing up, was your older brother still living at the house? Yeah, yeah. And what, did you ever see his gigantic black Mexican penis? Only when I asked. <laughs> It was unemployed. Not, not, yeah, it was His unemployed. name is Drogo. It's funny, like he would pick me up from school and I'd be like, oh, this is my brother. And they'd be like, Who's, are you guys adopted? What's going on? Probably. Yeah, they're like, Where, your brother. Where'd huh? you grow up? L.A. Yeah, Northeast L.A. Shout out to Frogtown, if anybody knows where that is. All right. Nobody, Nobody knows. No. <laughs> it's Nobody. right down the street from Dodger Stadium. I don't know. Whatever. All right, moving on. <laughs> I, you know what I thought about this? I'm like... Comics are going to get mad because I'm like already, so I just, should I just give the time back to the room and should we get some other comics? It's okay. I, I, I got it, Joel. I got it. I, right. are you, did you, Let's let Tony or, run did, this. Did I, did, yeah, hey, did I pull, from now on when I pull a name out of the bucket, you get to host the show, by All the right. way. Uh, you get to just, just control that's how what works. happens. Right. Do not question the unsullied. <laughs> that's me. I'm the unsullied, I think, in this analogy. Uh, <laughs> no so, penis. Joel, what's your love life like? Oh, it's good. Yeah? What, yeah. What's that mean? I have a girlfriend. How long have you had a girlfriend yeah. for? Wow, the crowd goes crazy. Yeah. How long have you been dating her? 13 years. What? Really? What? Yeah. what? yeah. Since you were 17? 18. Oh, my God. I'm 31. I'm almost 31, yeah. Has she so. ever been out of the basement? <laughs> well, has she? It's L.A. Nobody has a basement, Tony. No. <laughs> Nice. You think you could afford a basement? All right. <laughs> Thirteen years. Yeah. So we're in high school. You guys met? Yeah, we met in high school. We started dating after. After Did high school. Yeah. Where after is high she? school. Have outside. We, of... have we ever brought her out of the show? No. She works Mondays. I'd love to though. What does she do? She works at a spa. A spa. Yeah. She's oh. Asian. No red band. No. Forty dollars. No. The red band knows her. <laughs> I already know what you're thinking. Hmm. How long has she would done that? Is that a thing she's done for a while? Uh, about a year now. She's been the the spot she's at. She's been there for about a year now. So is it like a legit spa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like a nice spa. Like, like Do they have any yeah. special massages for people with the skin of seven corpses on their body? <laughs> no. What What does that mean? <laughs> Do they have the Hindu bride special? Uh, the Ichabod special. <laughs> All right, Joel. You're right. I am going to send you back to the drums. Thank you. All right. Early. There he goes, Joel Jimenez. He's on Twitter at mostly sorry. And you know him as the drummer of the official Kill Tony band. <laughs> you sent him back to the other side of the wall. <laughs> All Trump's right. Wall. I pulled another name Trump's out of the wall. bucket. Put your hands together. 60 seconds uninterrupted goes to Charlie Newhart. Charlie Newhart. Up this way, this way. They made us move the comedians farther away today for no reason, so it doesn't really help. But Charlie Newhart, everybody. My friend says he doesn't believe in God, says he believes in people, puts his faith in people. I can understand that because people are awesome, right? You agree? Yeah. Sure you do. 
like Tiger Woods. He's awesome, right? Great athlete. Tiger's the only person we know that can run through 18 holes in record time and then go golf. An amazing man. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thank you. All right. Caitlyn Jenner, an amazing person. Give it up for Caitlyn. Yes. Such boldness. Caitlyn was even amazing as Bruce. Bruce was doing 90 miles an hour, texting and driving, runs into the back of a lady, hits the car, kills her on impact. Bruce no longer wants to be a man, still hits women from the back. Just an amazing person. <laughs> People are amazing. I agree. Totally agree. What can God do? You know, he makes angels. Whitney Houston had the voice of an angel, right? Whitney's finally getting a star on the Walk of Fame. Only thing I don't like is where they plan on putting her star. The concrete in that area is all broken up, and I don't think it's right that they put Whitney's name on cracked rocks. It's not right. <laughs> Thank you. That's my time. Charlie Newhart with exactly 60 seconds. I love that. Thanks for making it here, fresh off of assistant coaching for the Boston Celtics. No, I think he was sure, stunt doubling for some special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, how long have you been doing stand-up? I've been doing stand-up for about three years now. I'm fresh from Detroit. Fresh from Detroit. 313. 313. Grass shooting seven mile. How fresh? How long have you been here? A week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Super fresh. I'm a virgin. How old are you, Charlie? I'm 39. 39. And you have, you're living here now? Yes, just moved here. Do you have a job yet? I do. What are you doing? I work at the Santa Monica dealership, Chrysler, Dodge and Jeep. Come see me, give you a discount right now. <laughs> right now? Right now? Right now? Point, I, th yeah. I think people are interested in a Chrysler yeah. right now. Tell them I sent you. No better time than in the middle of a live show to buy a Chrysler, yes. Dodge, or Jeep. <laughs> Chryslers are pretty American dope. American-made. <laughs> they are? I think they're dope. Don't, don't they make We're Chryslers? We're going to get that new demon. Come check it out. Actually, they're Canadian-made, actually, Chryslers. They make them look it's like Rolls Royces and shit. They do? Yeah. Do you provide pedal extenders? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, are you, how long have you been selling cars for? I've Since Key and Peele rapped? I'm a, <laughs> nice. Hey. Joel Berg in the house. He's much better back there on the drums than he my is. Dad, uh, my dad owns a dealership in uh, Detroit. I've been selling cars all my life. Wait, what like part of Detroit? 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 Southwest Detroit. Detroit. And before Ooh. that, how long were you selling Sprite? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins warming up over here. I love this. Everybody's here in their glory. So, so Charlie, what was uh, what was the name of your dad's car dealership? Eagle Motors. Eagle e Motors. <laughs> Evil Motors. Come on down. Blah, 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 blah. I'll fucking give you a deal, you cocksuckers. <laughs> it's in the hood, man. It's like southwest Detroit. There's tons of prostitutes over there. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Oh, do you ever throw them into the deal? Just you really know how to yeah. sell this dealership. Oh, yeah. The Either. prostitutes over there, they're always in the area whistling. Like, perfect. <laughs> That's how you whistle when you don't have teeth. I'll take a Chrysler Hordor. Hordor? Did I say Hordor? <laughs> Who said Hodor? <laughs> they fall for your sales. Eagle Chrysler. The only thing that suck here are the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, if you were going to sell us a car right now, uh, how would you do it? What, what car would you oh, like? Like, get, get give, give, give us a pitch. Pretend like we just came on the lot and we're like, we well, want. We came on the lot, Tony. We <laughs> came on the lot. Yeah, we came on your. Oh, 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 <laughs> your security, please, security. Keep in came mind that some of our modes of transportation are dragons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll sell you a car. I'll sell you. I'll sell you. Let's sell do you it, a Charlie. Okay. Sell it. I noticed that you were looking at that Hellcat. What would prevent you from buying it right now? That fucking green shirt. <laughs> That shirt suggests go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It matches my eyes. <laughs> Even the <laughs> dragon's checking you out. <laughs> he looks like a rejected Fanta dancer. <laughs> How would you respond to his uh, saying that your shirt is preventing him from buying the Hellcat? Do you loan like Mountain Dew? <laughs> really, so my shirt is an objection for you buying this car. I noticed that you were looking at it, sir. Let's just go inside and start the paperwork at this time. Oh, oh, oh that's it? You just go straight to paperwork? Yeah, paperwork Notice you were right looking now. at it. Sign your name here. I hate to see how he picks up women. Oh, let's just go right to the bedroom. Yeah. Let me fuck you. Give me your number right, right now. now. I noticed you saw What would it take to get me inside of you right now? Yeah. What is it going to take? Sign this paperwork right now. I do not bed those simply who ask. <laughs> what? Tony, Tony, have you seen the documentary Kermit Unmasked? 
Hi, dear. It, it was a black guy, too, right? It was. Oh, no, that was Elmo. Yeah. Oh. Well, so... Charlie, you have any uh, special hobbies or fun things that you do or are good at? Any special skills or talents? Oh, yeah. You know, typical black dude, basketball, football. I love to box. Yeah, I can fight. Yeah, I love to box. Women or the sport? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, did say, you did say typical black dude, so we're trying, just trying to uh, oh, clarify. Charlie, Charlie. Is, uh, that, now, is that why you're dressed like the outside of a watermelon? Oh. <laughs> It's because he's pink inside, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, true story, man. I got shot when I was 23 in Detroit. Shot? Uh, yeah, shot. I don't think you need to say in Detroit. <laughs> or true story. Nobody was like, oh, my God, where were you? Where, where did you get shot? Yeah. I got shot in the forearm, man. It was a drug deal going bad, tons of Hold dope on, on the table. It's not true. My, it was my ex-wife. It was my ex-wife. She shot me. Really? Yeah. Shot me in the forearm. Then she pointed the gun at my face, and the gun jammed. God protected me, for real. Wow. Um, God protected me. God, God, protected you. God protected you. Did the bullet hit your bones? You already got shot one time. Did, did you beat the <laughs> shit out of her after she... I sure did. <laughs> ...with yes. your good arm? Yes. It was UFC style, like I cradled wow. her. Wow. So wh how did it actually go down? What was she shooting you for? It was an argument. It was an argument going bad. About blah, what? Blah, blah. Late child support payment. <laughs> Whoa. Do you have kids, Charlie? I do. I got six kids. Six kids? Oh. Typical black dude shit. <laughs> Name them. Name them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, in, yeah. in chronological order. Chronological order. What are their names? Uh, I want the name and the right. age at the same time. Oh, man, come on. You add stuff. All right. <laughs> uh, listen, Charlie, I know you used to go to Windsor drinking when you were 19. You know I did. You know I did. Yeah, All right, probably. Angel is 21. Ajene is 18. AJ is 18. Don't ask me why. Um, Ch Charlie is 16. Uh, Andrew is six. No, he's not. Lisa is five. <laughs> Lisa's five. I think you're short two kids still. No. Your, your family Who's is gone? rather large. I would like their support on the battlefield. <laughs> That's five, right? That's six. Basically, you went through a 12 year period of not breeding. <laughs> yeah, it was like nice. 11 years, and then, uh, you know, then wifey said, I want more, and then it happened. Wait, Antonio what? Cromartie thinks this is fucked up. Man. Five people got Six that. kids. A hey, hey, Steve-O even shook his head. Right. Uh, <laughs> are they all with the same woman? No. Um, no. Of course not. How do you think he got there shot? It there it is. <laughs> six how kids, man. They're all here, too. Kids, they they all moved mamas? to L.A., too. They all moved to L.A. with me. So uh, Six kids, how many baby mamas? Two. It's oh, not, too bad. Bad. It's not, not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Even the Mexicans are like, shit, this fucking Yanta is doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie. Well, uh, congratulations. It was nice to meet you. Thanks Fun times. There he goes, Charlie Newhart. He's on Twitter at Charlie Newhart. All one word. All right. Moving. You guys having fun out there? Huh? Huh? How about this side of the room? You guys having any fun over there? Yeah. All right. Put your hands together for Michael Crawford, everyone. Here we go. Michael Crawford from, here we go, here he comes. Make some noise for Michael Crawford, everyone. How are y'all doing tonight? Have you guys ever been in a situation to where you get... Yeah, talking to the mic. I mean, your name's Mike, I mean, you would think. <laughs> Sorry. You guys ever been in a situation where you get totally fucked without even knowing about it? Michael, you have to hook. Let's start over. You have to talk in the end right, of right this into thing. it, Mike. Like directly. You have to put your mouth like right, right next there. to it when you talk. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at, Mike. Right there. Yeah, you right got there. this, dog. You got it. Put your hands together for Michael Crawford, yeah, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. This is when you know it gets real when you get on stage and you're like, holy shit, what the fuck is going on here? All right, well, let's bring it back to normal. Have any of you guys ever been, uh, oh, shit. This is, this, oh, fuck. Here, this try is, this one. This one's louder. This one's louder. Shit. What's up, little buddy? How you doing there? Good. Yeah, you ever got in a situation where you, uh... <laughs> Tough, dude. Hey, take a third one. Did, did, this, did this just get real? This just get real. This just got fucking real, people. This just got fucking real. All right, let's bring it back here. 
Let's start over. One more time for Michael Crawford. Keep going. It's all you, buddy. Have any of you guys ever made a mistake in your life to where you look at it and you really think, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm on stage right now next to Steve-O, Tony Hinchcliffe. Russell Peters. Russell Peters. Hey, hey. And Red Band in the corner. Give it the fuck up for these people, everybody. Let's get it cracking up in here. Sorry, Russell. I didn't, I didn't mean to come up like... I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, dude. I sell barbecues for a living. It's fucked up. Uh, uh, dude. Have any of you guys ever been with a bigger woman and got scared when you realize the fact after the matter that you're actually with this chick? Holy shit, man. The other night, man, I fucked my mom's coworker and it was just fucking tra crazy as shit. Size of a Kenmore fridge. She's a biggin, biggin, and I mean biggin when it comes down to it. No offense to any people in the crowd tonight. No offense, no offense. When she told me she was going to squirt, I ran for the fucking hills. I fucking ran as fast as I could. It was not a joke. Fucking called Surpro in the process because I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen if my house was going to be flooded out. What's up, Tony? Yeah, Jeremiah. Michael, uh, holy fucking shit. Wow. wow. I mean, wow. There was a period about three minutes into your performance in which you still hadn't started your performance. <laughs> In which I was thinking, I would just let you go for the rest of the episode, it just over and over. I would, I would watch you restart over and over again for the next hour. There was a period in time, for those of you listening to the audio of this podcast, which is what this is most uh, famous for, in which you probably just heard everybody laughing and you didn't hear anything other than that. That was because Michael is the most quiet comedian in the history of the universe. I we weren't quite picking up anything until there were three microphones. I in said there's a guy, right. ironically, a guy named Mike didn't know what the fucking how to work a mic. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Now, Mike, can I ask you what drugs you're on? I've been sober for a minute. You've been sober for a minute. Talk into the mic. <laughs> the mic thing. <laughs> Talk into that thing that gives you power. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever been up here. Can I ask you what was your motivation? Shocking. Like, what, what made you think, uh, yo, I'm going to try this, man? <laughs> Yeah, I used to do a lot of crazy ass drugs. And I like adrenaline. And I like the fucking rush. Okay. This but you don't like volume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it can fuck me. It, yeah. It can well, fuck with you at times. Like, he, he likes quiet adrenaline. <laughs> I like, watch motocross on mute. Yeah. Tony, can I? Tony. <laughs> Tony, can I take a guess? Now, when when, when you first sort of misstarted, uh, <laughs> it sounded it sounded like you had a joke, but then you, but then you didn't tell it, and, and then. You, each time you started, kind of, it sounded like you had a joke, but you never told a joke. Was, dude, I just yeah. shit my pants that I even got we, up here, dude. We, well, I, hey, man, I'm proud of you. I can tell that it was tough, man. Like, I can uh, smell it. I can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you can, Russell. bet you can, bud. So you fucked your mom's Co fat friend. Coworker. 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 Wow. Like, okay. how fat are we talking? The Kenmore fridge status. I know, but, like, how, how heavy would you say? I mean, uh, right now she's on young, a... So right now you she's on a... is different than what I think <laughs> of a About a 325 or... Oh, yeah, that's Maybe a 350. Wow. Wait, 325? 325. Did you come fast? Came scary. What? Came quietly, I bet. <laughs> yeah. uh, right now she's on a live podcast talking about how she had sex with the most quiet human being on the planet. She didn't know you came because she couldn't hear you. How old are you, Mike? Uh, I'm 21. What? 21? Yeah. yeah, okay, good. 21? How, how yes, many sir. Sublime music videos have you been in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to know uh, what part of the Inland Empire did this take place in? Are you from the Inland Empire? Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> California. Joelberg. Yeah! Joelberg. <laughs> fucking right. Where are you from, brother? Where are All you right. from? Michael, stop asking questions. Uh, okay, Tony. Okay, so what does your mom do for work? Uh, she does taxes, Tony. She does taxes? Yes, sir. And she has well, a big-ass so uh, co colleague. A big-ass <laughs> tax colleague. <laughs> it's a hog. It's a, it's a heifer. Whatever you want to come to it. But yes. Where'd you have sex with your mom's coworker at? In the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it was the vagina? Or? Oh, shit. It was a fold. <laughs> It was, just, it was just picking shit up to try to find where. Where? Yeah. Where? Where was the location of the sex? Very lower. Very no, lower. no, no. Not the not, not lower. The, not the part of the body. Where? Like what room or what building did you have sex with this woman in? I fucked her in my room, Tony. In your room? Yes, Tony. In your mom's house. Yes. In, my in your mom's house. trailer. Yes, in my mom's it, house. It, it, it was did she like all the black light posters? It was just to get back to my mother, dude. <laughs> yeah, you showed her. 
Were you, were, you, were you polite? Did you offer her meth first? Dude, when she laid down and she looked at my buddy and said, you can use me as a fucking mattress, that's when I got scared. Wow, like, this buddy? accountant lady sounds like she was 1040 EZ. Hello. <laughs> She was. She wasn't small, Tony. She wasn't small. She should have e-filed. <laughs> she was in. She was in quite the form. What was her sleep number? <laughs> <laughs> she was a seventy-five. You hook up with big chicks a lot, Michael. Uh, I take the risk at times. What do you do for work? I sell barbecues, clean them, repair them, whatever the fuck you need done to them, I could do, brother. Barbecues? Yes, sir. That's yeah. what you specialize in? MDC Barbecue Clean and Repair. Yes, sir. That is so weird because you have one of the jankiest grills I've ever seen on a <laughs> human being. <laughs> <laughs> you podcast listeners can't really see, but his, <laughs> That's fucking awesome. his Shots teeth are fired. Inland <laughs> Empire. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> what do you... <laughs> what do you like to do for fun, Michael? Uh, we like to go hunting. Hunting? We like to go wake skating in the river What do you bed. What do you hunt for other than accountant pigs? <laughs> he said she was fat, you haters. Normal. He's very good at sneaking up on things. <laughs> <laughs> We're hunting hogs in the riverbed there, bud. What? Hogs? Yes, sir. Really? Like real hogs or yes, like, like your mom's acquaintance's hogs? <laughs> that, that was a one-time thing to try to get back at her. Where do you go to hunt hogs? Did it work? Across the street from my house, brother. My room, dude. Did it work? Was your mother really you mad Upland? after you slept with a fat friend? Did it work? Fuck no. I still okay. have PTSD from that shit. Michael's so quiet that I feel like a lot of people missed an answer to a question I just asked him, which was, where do you hunt hogs? And his answer was, across the street from where I live. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, where do you live, Michael? Exactly to where there's hogs across the street. Westeros. Uh, <laughs> Norco, California. What? Norco, California. Oh, Norco. Whoa. Not to be confused with Narco. Right. Which is, which is what Norco's full of. <laughs> Get everyone fucked up. You have a lot of siblings? I'm the only child. You're an only child. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's the truth. Hmm. You ever right. inject anything into your veins, Mike? <laughs> When you say you did crazy like volume. drugs. Yeah, the time, time. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the cra what's the craziest drug that you ever did? Uh, probably smoked heroin and smoked meth. That was probably the craziest. Probably smoked, smoked heroin. heroin, smoked meth? No, no. You can smoke heroin, Steve? You can smoke heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at you for the answer. You can smoke heroin, Steve? Indeed, yeah. Steve O's done a snow angel in heroin before. <laughs> 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 nah, dude, I was a pill addict for a long time, and then I tried that shit once, and then the next day I got sober, dude. Went to my parents, told them I need fucking help. How you old did. are you? I'm 21. How long have you been sober? Uh, two years now. Two years? Wow, all That's right. Good. Yeah. And I was going to say... And that's, uh, no, are you drinking alcohol? Yeah, I drink and smoke. Okay, so you're not sober at all. <laughs> all right, just a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about like sober like dudes it's that get white. sober and then they just fucking do crazy shit like you set yourself on fire, he fucks pigs and right. He well, can't, he's he can't really speak sober. anymore. I mean, you know. Yeah. The DOC true. sounds louder than what him. Do you, uh, sex. <laughs> what do you shoot these hogs with? A uh, bow. A bow. Compound. Do you have a Do you have a silencer on your bow? <laughs> yeah, it's called his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes my gun. <laughs> <laughs> All the right. pigs are like, what? <laughs> Can you speak up, please? They, they oinked funny. with a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael. Anything else you want to say? You're up here with uh, one of your heroes, Steve-O. Hey, congratulations on sobriety, bro. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. And, 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 uh, I respect the balls it took for you to get up here, man. You know, like, uh, I think yeah, that... Dude, that shit's fucking scary as shit. The more, the more you do it, the maybe you'll get a joke out. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hopefully. <laughs> fucking hopefully. That'll be great, man. It's nice to meet you, bro. There you go. Michael Crawford, everybody. Catch his new one hour special on Netflix called Three Mics. Back to the bucket we go. The bucket. He was a quiet riot of destiny. <laughs> This young lady's been on the show a few times, always very impressive. A lot of people uh, absolutely love her from this show. Put your hands together for Jesse Johnson, everyone. Hey, uh, 
so I've been living in LA now for a couple months. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I've met a lot of people. Uh, I actually met someone. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, I've met a lot of people, but I'm a fucking one of them. What's up? How's it going? Yeah. All right. It's good. It's good. I, I actually, we were about to bang back in my place the other day, but I uh, have a roommate, and I really didn't want him to hear us, like, doing it. So in the moment, I changed all of my sex noises to ocean sounds. Caw, caw, sir, son, bra. The next day, I saw my roommate, and he was like, uh, I slept great last night. <laughs> The irony is, though, now that I live in Los Angeles, I can't get anywhere near an ocean without getting wet. Uh, and I don't swim. What's up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just fuck yeah. There you go. Exactly a minute from Jesse Johnson with her new new high five tags that she's added to some jokes. Hi, Jesse. Hey. So how, you've been here a couple months now? Yeah, three months on August. How's life going for you? Wait, three months in? Oh, three months. In, <laughs> it's going good. I uh, yeah. I'm Tony, I've been on the show. Where'd you come from? Been on it every time I've been on it. Oh really? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I came from Phoenix. I actually saw my friends. I uh, were opening for you all weekend. Uh, oh, Chappelle cool. Lacey and uh, yeah, Brant Tobler. I love those guys. They had a great weekend. Yeah. Phoenix <laughs> is fun. It's got really complimentary. Uh, you guys are so great. <laughs> So Jesse, I mean, she, every I time I've seen Jesse, she's had a great set. Yeah, so. she's a killer. Now, that's, now, that's, Jesse, that's the thing. I, I, when you said that you're uh, having sex with one guy in L.A., you went over and gave this guy a high five. Are you really having sex with that guy right there? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to connect with the crowd. That's always uh, good. Or, or when, there's a room of, when there's a room of 300 people, just high five the person in the front row. Then they can all. Then they're all immediately connected to Especially you. Especially the creepy guy that looks like he's alone. Um. <laughs> Is it true that you're having sex with one guy? Yeah, one one. I'm monogamous. He's not. There you go. <laughs> oh, we didn't ask your religion, Jesse. No, um. yeah. <laughs> that makes it sad. What makes you? What makes you think that he's not monogamous as well? Oh, we talked is. about it. <laughs> oh, he's. I, I told him I, you know, I, I, I'm into this guy a lot. So he said, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, seeing other people, and I told him, you know, I've never really been in an open relationship, and he t assured me right away, like, yeah, we're not in a relationship. So. <laughs> 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 Do you talk about guy. that? Do you talk about that on stage yet? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That was a big yeah. laugh that you just got right there. Yeah. yeah Has he ever? Out of that. You Has are ever... better than that. You are a queen. <laughs> That's right. I agree. Has he ever put his ear to your pussy and heard the ocean? <laughs> Not yet, but I might try that later. You know, I recommend if you really don't want to bother your roommate, if you really want to have quiet sex, I don't know if you've met the guy Michael Crawford that was on uh, <laughs> just before you, but your roommate, <laughs> your roommate will sleep like a baby. I won't even know he's there. <laughs> you have a, you've been here a few months. You have a job yet? Yeah, I have a job, and I started doing a studio audience work for just quick cash, so I've been picking up some stuff. What shows have you been in the audience for? Um, my favorite one was At Midnight. That one was fun. Ooh. Uh, did some other game shows that I can't remember the name of. Oh. They must be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, one guy accidentally, I think, told the crowd that he was molested. The, it was uh, weird. Uh, well, Chris Hardwick <laughs> has had some issues. <laughs> <laughs> points, his, points, His last name points. is Hardwick. Um. Different show. <laughs> All right. Well, Jesse, I mean, that's interesting. So the guy tells you that he's in an open relationship, but you really, you really like him? Do you think that part of you liking him is sort of that, like, uh, raw rock and roll thing that he is? <laughs> oh, yeah, most likely. Uh <laughs> Or maybe it's something to do with her dad. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is that bad? Is that wrong? This just got serious. I don't know. He kind of reminds me of my dad because, you know, he, he, like, takes me out. He's good to me. He buys and me stuff fucks I other want. women? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I only see him, like, every other weekend, too. <laughs> I say, get, I say get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy and find a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like young Abraham Lincoln in the front row. Oh, what's up? <laughs> right. Yeah. Just like I feel so connected to her right now that she did that. 
Just like this, this hot fucking dude just said, you know, you're a queen, you deserve it. <laughs> I agree Khaleesi with that. Yourself, wow. What'd you say? From Khaleesi herself, wow. Uh, so... <laughs> Jesse, what do you what have you been doing for fun in your few months in LA other than stand up comedy? Like what else do you do what else are you into? Um just like drinking and chilling with friends is basically it. I've been uh, What do you like to drink? Uh beer. <laughs> Regular. Whatever's available. Uh, <laughs> now, now, now I like her because she does one of the two things I do. I drink and I know things. <laughs> Hell yeah. Relatable, right? <laughs> All right. Half you watch the show, fuck you people. <laughs> Jesse, how long have you been with this guy? Oh, uh, you know, it's super cash. <laughs> when you got here, like a few months? No dress months, code. Yeah. Are there, are, has there been a time in which, like, you've sort of known that he was just with another woman and it sort of stood out to you in some way or anything like that? No, nothing like that. Um, you know, it has been nice because, I, you know, yeah, my body's a temple and all that, uh, but it's been nice <laughs> <laughs> moving out here and, like, having somebody that, you know, and, and like, and that's been, it's been a very beneficial and great. Uh, wait, 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 what's been beneficial? It's great. been nice like, moving out here and not knowing a ton of people and but having somebody that uh, I like to spend time with. wants to fuck with. you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you're a girl. Every guy wants to fuck you. Oh, thanks, Russell Pierce. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I think somebody's opening on the road soon for someone. I mean, no, not, not me, but uh, <laughs> everyone else wants to fuck I me. Mean, uh, you seem right. awfully young for me, is what it is. I'm 27, baby. You're still younger than my career. Um, <laughs> you're, you're younger than my career, goddammit. So you said that you said that you have a job, but that you, lately you've been doing studio audience uh, work. But yeah, that's in, that's in the entertainment field, though. That works. Yeah. Yeah, that's keeping. Can it you give us like a good laugh? Can you show us your studio <laughs> audience laugh? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Blends well, yeah. How about uh, that was how, me. How, I'm in that track. Um. All right. <laughs> Anything else, Jesse? No, that's all. Thank you so there much. There you go, Jesse Johnson, everyone. Jesse She's Johnson. on Twitter at Jetski Johnson. Jetski, like the device, like that you would take on a river. Jetski Johnson, all one word. One more time for Jesse Johnson, everyone. She's adorable. Okay, this looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Chaz Carter. What's up, y'all? Yeah, prize underway. Give it up if you're an ally or a mean old gay like myself. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, all my friends have been traveling the world, celebrating Pride, going to all these events, posting about it. And then they're all texting me. They're like, hey, how are you going to celebrate Pride? And I'm like, being gay at work. <laughs> I have fucking bills to pay. I wish my bills were homophobic. I wish instead of a light bill, I just got a letter that said, fuck you, faggot. I'd be like, that's fair. That's cool. <laughs> just keep the lights on. Besides, I feel like I'm too old. I'm fucking 30. I feel like if you're 30 and over at Pride, you should just be chaperoning and handing out STD pamphlets. Like, why are you there? You know? And I know you guys can't tell that my age, that I'm 30, because I look like a buff 13-year-old, so it's a little confusing and shit, you know? Um, that's, I'm good with that. I'm done with that. That's what I'm going to talk about. Fuck yeah. There you go, Chaz Carter. Chaz Carter. Coming in a little... Coming in a little yeah. short on your time. I know. And I in just, real life. I, I'm offended by that. I didn't think it through, so I was like, shit. Well, I was like running up here like, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I say? Relax. Right, We're Chaz, relax. <laughs> relax. Just breathe. Here's the thing. Chaz doesn't come across as gay, just his outfit. And then I was like, I, <laughs> I was confused when he was talking about, oh, he was always, always yeah. great yeah. program. Yeah, you are a tiny little gay yeah, you're, guy. You're like huh? a gay spinner. Yeah. Uh, spinner. Little, <laughs> little fidget spinner. Yeah. Faggot spinner. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot because I'm pretty. I don't know. People say I'm pretty like masculine for a gay guy, or whatever. Pretty masculine means. for a gay yeah, guy. I get that a lot like, no, from the most feminine gay friend. guys. Yeah. They're the ones that tell you that. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Florida. Florida. Where? Yeah. Florida. Never Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> Where Peter Pan lives, not the Michael uh, Jackson. That was the drummer. 
Tampa Arcade, cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. How long hood. have you been? The how, hood. How long have you been in L.A.? Oh man, I've been in L.A. over five years. Five years. Yeah, over five years. And where in Florida? Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. And so that you came straight from there. Well, not straight from there, but <laughs> you came from there to here. <laughs> Tony, I'm gonna fucking rape you if you don't show. <laughs> I bet, I bet, I bet you would. Now that is a match I would like to see. <laughs> Trial you, by you, combat. You and Tony are wearing equally tight jeans tonight. Tony, yeah, stand up. So uh, that's true. Mine weren't as tight earlier, but I worked legs today. So. Uh, <laughs> Did, uh, you seem very athletic. Do you have any sports that you're into? Or that? Uh, yeah. Well, I grew up in a pretty like like sports oriented house. Like I played football. In high school. Tight end? <laughs> <laughs> or the ball. Running back. I was second street running back. Uh, I played track. Uh, How do I you danced. play track? Yeah, I played track. I ran track, my bad. <laughs> you played play track, you know. <laughs> I played a track and then I ran in track. In no. was it, were you really running track or was it just angry Tampa, Florida white people chasing you because you were gay? <laughs> No, 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 no. I didn't Get know. over here, you little. <laughs> I'll tell you what, boy. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't really deal with that a lot because, like, I grew up in the hood. So, like. Tampa all, is the hood. Well, I mean, like, the projects within Tampa. Like, so, like, That's Tampa on top of Tampa. So, so you grew up in the hood, yeah. a, a gay man. Yeah. One could say that you were literally a young thug. For the ten rap fans in the room that know Young Thug is gay. The rest of you have no street cred with me whatsoever. <laughs> First of all, Lucy. Tony, uh, Young I, Thug is not hip hop. Uh, ever. Young Thug? Nah, he's God, garbage. No. What? Yes. What do you call that? Rap? That is <laughs> crap. Okay, whatever. Oh, shit. Thank you. Thank How you, dare Russell. you disrespect Thank you. the Thank sanctity you. of hip hop, Tony? <laughs> now, when did, when did you come out as gay? To family or friends. Uh, oh, I don't know. You e tell us e which one was first. Uh, uh, friends, I was 21. Family, like maybe like 25. 26. Uh, you just oh. came out. You oh, brand new I mean, gay. I'm 30. Well, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. That's fair. And, and I, like, uh, I imagine that that's not easy. You know, when you're in the hood in Tampa, like no, it's no. kind of like you no, know. Not at all. Did you try pussy? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> like how many times? How many times? About four. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm well acquainted with pussy. Nice. Yeah. Like, no, because I can see chicks digging you. So oh, like, no, yeah, yeah. I get hit on a lot by girls. Like, more yeah. than dudes. It's funny. Yeah. I think because I'm, like, scary to dudes. Well, you're a little like a little diesel motherfucker. That's right. Like, <laughs> dudes are like, I don't want to call that guy gay because he beats my ass. You never fuck with the little guy. Yeah. The little guys always fuck you up. Never yeah, we do. Guy. How long what? are you doing stand up? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little pride for right yeah, there. Yeah. What uh, I don't know if you're diesel or propane, but yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do a merry fuck kill Tony, Steve O, and Russell. <laughs> oh man, uh, I'm pretty sure this one's easy. Mary, Mary Russell, what fuck, fuck? Steve O, kill Tony. Kill Tony. <laughs> you're a marketing genius, Chaz. Yeah. Thanks for the plug. Thanks, man. I'm a keeper. What kind of <laughs> <laughs> what kind of guy are you into? What's your like perfect oh, like? Are you a top or a bottom? Burst. What? What? Both. 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 Oh. Did you say burst? Burst. So tile. Burst. So you'd are rather you... fuck Steve than Russell? Russell seems like he would be more well, comfortable. No, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I We're married. married we Russell. make love, goddammit. Yeah, it. <laughs> we don't fuck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're not savages. Yeah. Like, we look each other in the eyes and shit when we yeah, do it. Yeah, like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you see me, motherfucker? Head to head. So, how, how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I'm coming up on a year. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Coming up. And, and is, is, is your material largely about being gay? No, no actually, I wouldn't say I, largely. I mean. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, touch, I touch on religion, family. Uh, job experiences, like I try to like job as in blow hand or work. <laughs> <laughs> no work, Russell. Sorry. What was the weirdest response you got coming out to your family or friends? Was there a wacky uncle that? Can I do? Uh, a, can I do what I think happened? Uh, Go ahead, just come out to me, and I'll be. I'm your. I'm your all uncle. Right, all right, all right. So, Uncle Russell, I gotta tell you something. Uh huh. I. I think I might be gay. This motherfucker here! <laughs> Is that how you said it? You well, you said can't call a gay guy uh, a motherfucker, can you? Because 
Well, won't it's be. impossible. He's a, fa- yeah. he's a father fucker. <laughs> be a father fucker. You fucking father fucker. <laughs> So, so you were like, you, like it was tougher to come out to the family. Did they have uh, to take? It? Yeah, because like I grew up in I grew up in a Southern Baptist family. Right. Like, yeah. So, Tampa's kind of Bible Belt. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A little Bible Belt. So actually, like my mom was super cool about it. Did anybody have any inklings? Uh, my mom did. Yeah. Why? Why do you think that is? Because she saw me tagged in a photo. Where I was like doing like this, and there was a dick above my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I make memes like that of my friends all the time. <laughs> There's no shortage of pictures of me like that. Your mother <laughs> is a real private investigator. No, I was at I was at a, I was at a club in West Hollywood. There was like I was real drunk, and there was a go go dancer that my friend knew. And my friend was like, "Take a picture." And I was like, "All right." And like I didn't realize the next day that like I was like holding it like an hors d'oeuvre or some shit. Like, yeah. It looked what? like it was like Vanna White unveiling and like wrapping my. It was. What's uh, the gayest thing you've ever done in your opinion? Thing I've yeah, ever in done? your opinion, I mean, probably I mean, taking in the ass. Yeah, I mean, no, I know. That's, that's pretty gay. It's pretty fucking obvious what that would be, Tony. Uh, I mean, yeah, I was gonna say. Can't get much. Like, you yeah, guys yeah. are letting him off the hook so fucking easy, and you don't even know it. Have you ever got E. coli on your dick? No, no, no. It can happen in there. Does that happen? Do you know what felching is? <laughs> no, Steve, what the fuck is felching? Felching, it's like when felching? you felching. Yeah. It's Dude. when you suck cum out of uh, the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. No, a, I mean, man. that's it, it, for example. That would be the gayest thing you ever did <laughs> if you've done it. <laughs> Steve, it was on an. Uh, uh, it was Steve on an, answered the question for you. Uh, it was a deleted scene from the Jackass movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ooh. nah. Do it. Oh, bam. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I'm and I'm about to suck this guy's dick. <laughs> 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 that actually <laughs> happened one time. <laughs> <laughs> but to be more, more clear, I said, I'm Steve-O, and this is dick kissing. <laughs> 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 Talk about wild boys, my goodness. Uh, Talk about wow. dick house. <laughs> <laughs> Deep cut. <laughs> Joel I Bird. know my references. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dick was it, Steve-O? Chris Pontius. Yeah. yeah. I, I, plan, I, planted a, I planted a kiss right on the head of the Warhammer. <laughs> Chaz, what stood out to you when you were with the uh, four women as your least favorite part of it? What's something that you just like can't sort of get over, get out of your head about the experience? It would have had to bend the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go sorry for I was me. wondering why her asshole wouldn't get wet. <laughs> <laughs> so I felched it. Chaz, answer the question. Well, man, uh, I don't know, man. Now listen, you, since you've been with chicks, right? Yeah. You're kind of like damaged goods in the gay community. No, no. Uh, really. Isn't there like gold standard... No, Dang, no, you know, I feel like because, like, I got, like, I... Te- like, you're like bronze. I, I did a test drive. I, you tried it out. It was cool. It was, like, you know, it was, like, a little Mary Kay sample. I had a bit. It was, you know, I just wasn't... You know. Look, you, I, I have one of my gay friends talking about gold standard gay. And that's I don't know what the fuck that is. Gold means. standard I gay. I have heard of that. You know what this, right? That, yeah. It's yeah. where they, uh... They it's do. where they've never touched a chick. They never kissed a girl, never right. touched a vagina, nothing. So Jeremiah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, wait, then he uh, told me about platinum. Platinum. Platinum standard. That's where they never touched a girl, never kissed a girl, and they were born C-section. So oh, Tony. Oh, my God. I thought that was called came pure. out of a vagina. Oh, my wow. God. What the fuck? Yeah. That's hot shit. Hey, did you come when you fucked these chicks? Yeah, twice. Nice. Well, uh, well, twice. Two with two of them, yeah. But were you thinking about it, dude? Huh? Were you thinking about a dude while you're... No, in? I was just, like, focusing real hard. At her butthole? Like, it just didn't seem natural because, like, I couldn't, like, it didn't, like... The, it didn't it just, feel good? She I smelled all no, pretty and shit? <laughs> <laughs> Why does this asshole smell like pussy? <laughs> no, it was just... I don't know. It just seemed, like, not... I don't know. Just... It didn't feel organic to me. Like, it felt... Or orgasmic. Uh, or, like, I just mm. wasn't in it. I guess you were in it. Way. But, uh, oh, I mean, I was <laughs> in it. I was in it, but I wasn't like in it. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, man. I think you're a really likable guy, and yeah, if you well. stick with this shit, I think you're gonna do very well. Absolutely, I completely yeah. agree. Chaz Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Chaz. Started from the bottom, <laughs> and he stayed there. Now he's queer. <laughs> there he goes. Started with vagina. Now he's here. <laughs> S. Carter 724 on Twitter. That's the real guy. S. Carter. 
<laughs> S card. Uh, Why are there so many fucking flies? Did you say the Indian guy's coming? Let's get some flies in here. They're not around us white people, I Russell. Know. It's I from that see. shit dick. I feel like a fucking UNICEF commercial. I will remember you. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Phil Kemp. So I recently got fired from my job. Yeah! Yeah, I was working as a repo man, and uh, ends up I'm not really good at oppressing minorities. I know, I look like it. But believe it or not, I do have black friends. Uh, I actually have so many, I can't keep track of them. So I have this one app, it's called Black Friend Tracker. It's really just a police scanner. <laughs> so, uh, what do you call a Native American with a cocaine problem? Finding rock. Yeah, what do you call a Native American whose car won't start? Broken whip. Yeah, cool, fine. Yeah, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of done. Fuck yeah. Hey, I got one. I got one. What do you call a white guy with no real jokes? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love I love uh, racist punchlineless humor. Um, are you a real racist, Phil? No, no, I just look like it. You do. You really do look like it. And then I you sort of talk looks like about it. He looks like he's mixed. He's got he, like an afro. He looks like the guy from Pulp Fiction that goes bring out the gimp. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brad jumps out. <laughs> he looks like an unemployed Super Mario. <laughs> Luigi. A good one too. A lot of 70s porn happening on this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah, Phil, why have you done that to yourself? Chicks dig it. How old are you? 24. Wow. Damn. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. You don't you don't look a day over 43. <laughs> Incredible, <laughs> Phil. What why do you think you look like that at 24? How did, how, how's that possible? How did you life know, shit on you did, so bad? What did you do? What did I you just, do? I just make a lot of bad decisions, okay? I mean, you know, you make like, like that snail tattoo on your arm. With fucking fire <laughs> on it, yeah, man, it's fucking awesome. It's a fire. snail. Fire snail. You know what, Steve? Oh, you're not allowed to call anyone's tattoo stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> so, Phil, you're 24. What, what's your what's your daily diet consist of? <laughs> Lots of Velveeta. <laughs> Deep fried Velveeta. Does Velveeta come in a can? <laughs> it's in a box. Even worse. Uh, I don't know, man. Like uh, frozen pizzas, uh, you know, bachelor kind of food. Uh, yeah. You live by yourself? Uh, no, with a bunch of people. How yeah. many people? Like about mm, 13 or 14. 13? In what? what in, in in how many, he how stays many at a hostel. It's not Yeah, the... it's pretty much a hostel. But right? it's not. How many bedrooms is it? Uh, like two. Wow. wow. Where's this at? Wow. In a semi? West Hollywood. <laughs> West Hollywood. That's just called a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a crack house. <laughs> good one, good one. My goodness. Did you meet uh, Shaz Carter? Did you? <laughs> no, no, no. How long have you been living <laughs> in that situation? Uh, happily for about two weeks. Happily for about two weeks. <laughs> what made you happy? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like more people to talk to. When you yeah. live with that many people and you have to take a shit, like what do you do? Like you wait for the bathroom, Brian. Yeah, Next question, Phil. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if it's two bedroom, where do you sleep? You go back down to Exxon and shit. I mean, Thirteen you people though. Uh, yeah. We have bunk beds, okay? If, you know it works. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Is you that a, true? You a top or a bottom? <laughs> bunk, bunk. Uh, you know, bottom bunk right now, but moving up to the top maybe. How do you make money? Jealous. <laughs> um, well, you know, like... No, we don't. <laughs> paid audience work. Uh, really? You know, yeah, a little bit of that. What know, audience are you in? Like, Jesse Johnson, I could understand, but uh, yeah. at midnight, panning to your skull. <laughs> He's in the studio audience for every Guy Fieri show. <laughs> <laughs> These new Yoshi knives! 
like what they call it when the studio audience work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bullshit, man. It's just grueling, grueling, grueling. Do you do stand-up or? Yeah, I do uh, mostly a musical act, actually. That's why I suck at jokes. Yeah. I, I, really I mean, these guys do music, and they're pretty good at it. Yeah, well. I mean, not the drummer, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you get paid for, like, a studio audience job? It's like 12 an hour. 12 an hour, just yeah. sitting there clapping? What do you do, about yeah. two or three hours a day? Yeah. It's they should like pay you in sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> What I, I, don't, I, I don't believe in sleeves. I, I, I don't. don't. I don't Clearly. see how you get or, or arm you, day. You generate <laughs> enough studio audience work to make to survive. What else do you do? Uh, you know what? Uh, I teach ukulele to kids. Oh, oh, now we're getting into it. So he's a white Don Ho. Were you actually uh, a repo guy? Yeah, I used to be one. Where Where was that? In the valley. Uh huh. What, what were you? Shit? Re oh. We got all the shit. What's Pop. your craziest repo story? Did anyone like try to fight you or pull a gun on you or no, something? No, I wish every fucking. You wish? Day I wanted people to pull guns on me, and it was. Your so life is not that nice. depressing. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I look like this. Brad, that's his outfit. That's depressing. His life might be better. His... Have you ever smoked crack? Yes. It, it kind of did like in the last hour or two. No, <laughs> Debo. That was weed. But okay. you, how recently did you smoke crack? Um. Like six months ago. Huh. Where Shocking. Was, where was that at? Um, Do you ever uh, TBT that on Instagram? <laughs> TBT. <laughs> that one time I thought it was meth. <laughs> Is that true? Did you think it was meth? Yeah, that's why I smoked it. Wow. And right. you've smoked meth before. I'm from Bakersfield, of course. Right. That, yeah. That should be a new game show, So You Think This Is Meth. <laughs> Oh, man, so, win. Are you smarter than a crackhead? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you smoked meth? Uh, January. January. So, so less recently than when you smoked crack. Yes. Okay. So when you smoked crack, Congratulations you, meant, you had meant to smoke meth. <laughs> what, what was that? When you smoked crack, you had meant to smoke, to smoke meth. Yeah, it was a weird night. Yeah, that's yeah. how you should describe it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do after a night like that? After you thought you were smoking meth, but you accidentally sign smoked up crack. for Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Bath salts. Yeah, you have to move on to the hard. What do you do after you smoked crack? Well, you know. Uh, Doesn't have to be funny. Just tell the truth. Just kind of, you know, sat there in the Denny's parking lot and, uh, you know, just twitched out. Kept, you know, twitching and telling myself it was gonna be okay. You're sitting in a car? No, no. Just no. sitting there. Yeah, in the parking lot. Was what this, what part fun? of the parking lot? A spot? Yeah. Like a parking yeah, spot. Yeah, in a parking at, spot. At what point did you find out that it was not meth? About, like, uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah? It took a while, actually. I was like, oh, fuck. This wow. is not what I expected. Did you find crack to be delicious? <laughs> yeah, I wondered why the meth was delicious. Right. You know? Tasty stuff. <sighs> crack tastes good? Is that true, Steve-O? Well, I've always known it to be pretty delicious. Damn! <laughs> no, not even good, straight to delicious. Good the first time? What? What? Isn't crack only good the first time, and then every time after that is just chasing that first crack high? I think so. I what, think what, they call it... You? I think I, I think they call that chasing the dragon. That's, That's more of a heroin thing, but... Yeah. <laughs> 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 The dragon's right behind you, Phil. Hey, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Hey. Haven't got seen him. you since uh, that one time I thought that heroin was cocaine. Uh, the chemistry is off the charts on the stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, uh, you are an interesting guy. How long have you done stand-up? About four years almost. Four years. Wow, and you'd never know. A lot of the 13 people that you live with, they're comedians too? Well, uh, like one of them. One of them. What do the rest of them do? Just they, fucking nothing? It's like an Airbnb, so some of them are tourists, some of them are just like <laughs> shitheads like me. You know, whatever. Do you ever use that as a statistic? statistic? As a statistic? Do you ever use that as a statistic? No, uh, one in every 14 people is a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that wasn't very yeah, good. All right. I want to see the Phil, you're bringing down my IQ. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Phil, I almost wish you were as quiet as uh, Michael, what's his name, Crawford. Yeah, I know. But there you go, there you go, it's Phil Kemp, everybody. Catch him in your local Denny's parking lot smoking crack or heroin yeah. or something like that. We have a regular on this show. 
Let's do that, and then we're going to go back to the bucket again after that. But uh, right now we're going to bring up our one regular. She writes and performs a brand new 60 seconds every single week. Oh, she does not get pulled out of the bucket. She has her spot locked in. Put your hands together for the great Allie Mikofsky, everyone. Yeah, Allie. Hi, it's great to be here. I, um, I just got fired from my job, I think. I'm not sure though, I just haven't been scheduled. So I called them, I said, hey, what's going on? They were like, yeah, we actually just hired someone to cover all of your shifts. I was like, so does that mean I'm fired? She was like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I think it might be because of my haircut. I, I shave my head and I feel like it makes everything I do seem way more intense. Like, I could just be walking a dog and someone will be like, she's training that dog to fight. <laughs> and it's just a poodle. <laughs> uh, I, I, I get dick pics sometimes and I never really know how to respond to them. Like, I'm not good at that, like, flirty, hot texting. So I just respond to dick pics like it's a food menu. I'm like, mmm, that looks nice. There you go, Alec Mikofsky. Allie Mikofsky. Another new minute. Everybody knows you. Everybody loves you. Another new minute. How's life going? I mean, getting fired was the best thing that just happened. You got fired from the movie theater? No, I've been fired from there for a while now. Uh, the restaurant that you only work one day a week. Yeah, I only worked one day a week, so when I got fired, I was like, yeah, I've been fired. Right. You know? I you were, like, did you, I ever work here? You were horrible at that job, right? Oh, I'm horrible at most jobs yeah. where I have to, like, help people eat. Yeah, but you kill it on Stranger Things. Oh. Thank you so much. Also, Allie, it's disrespectful to say fire in front of Steve-O, please. It's really weird, Allie, to see a Jew uh, really uh, uh, embrace the skinhead culture. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's very confusing for me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so what else has Hard been going on? How are you going people. to How are you going to supplement your income now that you've lost your one solitary job? Gosh, I don't know. Does anyone have suggestions? I think Camming. That, by webcam. The way, webcam. Someone yelled "stripping," and it came from out of the exact area where I sat your mom earlier. So <laughs> that's really bizarre. Put your hands together for Mrs. Makovsky is in the house. Yeah. Today. Wait, no, it's not. I'm sorry. That was Pat Reagan's mom. I got confused. Put your hands together for Pat Reagan's mom, everybody. Mrs. Reagan's in the house. Would you ever do stripping? Would you ever do, like, webcamming or anything like that? No. No. Good answers. Good answers. Um, why'd you Somebody wink? Somebody said why. I didn't wink. I just don't have the confidence for it. Really? Yeah, I feel like I'd be, like, too uh, quirky. What do you think you're going to do? You really don't have any idea? No, I have no idea. You're just going to run out of money? Yeah. Wait, I, w I want to hear the scenario about a quirky webcam girl. <laughs> That's exactly what fucking uh, Jeremiah Googles. <laughs> anything else r interesting happened this past week of your life? Any boys or anything fun? No, nothing interesting. I watched Game of Thrones for the first time. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> never, never a day too soon. How did no. we do? Well, I ended up just swiping on Bumble the whole time. Like a true queen. <laughs> All right. Skyping on Bumble? Swiping. Swiping. swiping on Are Bumble. Are you swiping for dudes or chicks? Dudes. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Does Bumble work for you a lot? Um, it works for, like, validation and stuff. Because guys will hit on you, but you won't meet with them, but them hitting on you, like, gives you enough? I just want to know that I'm wanted. <sighs> well, that's very honest, Allie. This sounds like a deep problem you should probably look into. Okay. <laughs> All right, Allie. Okay. We're going to get another human being up here. Another new minute from your regular Allie Makovsky. She's Magic Allie Mac on Twitter and Instagram. Magic Allie Mac. Back to the bucket we go. Put your hands together for Rosalie Mayu. Mayu. Rosalie Mayu. She got a little pop there.
Make some noise for Rosalie Mayu, everybody. Come on. We're almost to the finish line. Fuck me. All right, so how many people here have parents? You call them, you ask them for money? Oh, you liars. Because I have two grown sons, but I don't pick up the phone anymore. Because every time I do, it costs me $500. Right? He's laughing. He fucking knows. How, I mean, really? How come everything costs $500? I mean, on a good day, it's $500. On a bad day, they can ask you for $5,000. I mean, like they call me, they're at the Jeep dealership. They had to go to a dealership? They couldn't go to fucking Pep Boys? They called me from the Jeep dealership and said, Mom, Mom, we need four new tires. For my safety, Mom. For my safety. You know how much four new tires is going to cost me? Thank you. Thank you. Fuck yeah, Rosalie Mayu, everybody. Yeah. This is, it's so awesome for you to take a break from hanging out with your 35 cats to be here uh, today, Rosalie. How many cats do you have in real life? You have cat, cat lady hair. Oh, fuck no. You don't have a cat? <laughs> fuck no. Really? What school do you teach at? <laughs> I know have, I'm close to have something. Have you ever banged one of your son's friends? <laughs> no, that was her job. No, Wait, his who's? job. Oh, whoa. What just happened? There? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Something weird took a fucking turn there. Rosalie, you seem like you are you are thinking about something, but you're not saying it. Like you said, fuck I, me. I oh, know, fuck. No, like, what is all because, this? Guys, I love you. I mean, really. Russell Peters, come on. Fucking hell. Steve-O. Right. Kill Tony. I mean, I've been wandering the hallways here for a year and a half. Yeah. And, and Daenerys uh, Stormborn. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you two next to each other. I've never seen the grandmother of dragons before. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yes, I am. So, Rosalie, My why have crazy. you been wandering the hallways here for a year and a half? What does that mean? You're a fan of comedy? She's been haunting it since her death in 1824. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now I'm back. I'm glad I now know what Daria would have looked like if she grew up and did heroin. Yes. No, I look like Nick Nolte. Yeah, you're pretty spot on there. Okay, okay. Which I saw him in the grocery store and he said, nice hair, lady. Is that true? No. Well, okay. That was a good joke, though. Thank you. If you executed it well, it would have been perfect. <laughs> um, so what's your story? How many kids do you have? I have two grown sons. How, no. wait, how grown are they? That they're, they're fucking grown. They're 25 and 30. And they're calling you for $500 <laughs> per call? Oh, yeah. Is that oh, true? Oh, absolutely. Well, well, why do they do it sneaky. Like it's for tires. That's what y'all do, right? No, it's nobody does that. You just, yeah. No, you raised, you raised your kids poorly, Rosalie. <laughs> That's what happened here. I was about to mention nobody that. Los Angeles parent, yes. It's true. So how are those two failures? What do they do now? What do they... Uh... They're musicians. Are they, right? Are they, Welcome to your family. Is, this is my family. Yeah. This is them. I have deep appreciation. What for, do you do for work, Rosalie? Librarian. I, I've been an actress for 25 years. and Yeah. Really? What Have you been in anything that uh, we recognize? Murder, uh, She Wrote or something like that? <laughs> Saying um, elsewhere? A famous movie, uh, Lawnmower Man, a cult movie. Right? Whoa! What were you in Lawnmower Man? Were you was, one of the uh, studio audience? I was... Uh, <laughs> the lawnmower? I was Carla Parker. I was Carla Parker. Uh, she Pierce was the Brothers. lawnmower. I'll say it again. Next door neighbor. I was the scary neighbor. Really? No, I was the nice lady next door with a kid. Of course I was. I'm the mom. I play the mom in over 300 You remember her, Josh? Wow, our autistic friend Josh Meyerowitz remembers you specifically. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. There yeah. you go. As you can tell, he gets more autistic every it, it year. It was not a good movie. <laughs> We're going to be serving hot dogs and Asperger's after, guys. Um, <laughs> it's a really cool jacket you have, Rosalie. You have cool style. Thank um, you. Let me ask you this. Are you still with your uh, baby daddy? 
No. So what are you, what are you doing nowadays? You dating? You on any of the apps? You on? Uh, <laughs> you on? No, uh, I I thought I would uh, uh, do stand up for the last year and a half with Ch which chases just about every guy in the world away. Yes, yes it does. Quick. Yes, it does. Yeah, especially with the material that you did here. <laughs> I mean, if you sucked as bad as your jokes did, maybe you'd get more guys. But I'm saying, um... You made the audience more tired than your son's car. <laughs> tired joke? No? All yeah, right, it was fuck good. it. <laughs> it was fun, it was fun, Tony. So you, what made you want to do this for the last year and a half? What changed? I got cancer. Whoa! What uh, kind let's of try to bring the room down. Um, what kind You're of welcome. Is that a weird question to ask? Is no, it I mean, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of it going around. Yeah. It's airborne. Yeah. Hope it's Must not be. contagious. I yeah. call it dragon tears. Are you beating it? Like, are you, uh, yes. what, what's your prognosis? Yes, it's, it's pretty good. It's, um, it's a special kind of breast cancer that kicks your ass pretty good. It's called triple negative, and people don't usually survive it. Triple negative is one of the original names for the <laughs> Kill Tony band, by the way. <laughs> well, there's five tonight, so yeah. it doesn't really work. Normally, there's three. Um, Good one, so Tony. Triple, Four and a half. Triple negative, but you're in remission, or? Uh, I prefer to say cured. Oh, oh I like that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I like that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, babe. Thank you. That is some of the breast news I've heard all day. Hello. <laughs> So you managed to nipple that one in the bud. Yeah. Um. Fuck yeah. Well, I love that. That's, Thank you. That's just great. So Thank now you. that now it's, it's hard to make fun of her. Now that it, now <laughs> that no, 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 no. No, now that all. now that you're cured, are you gonna quit doing stand up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't th taken the cure for that yet. Oh. Uh. Well, laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. And except almost. unless it's in Burbank. They did. They did. They, they called me and they said. Gee, you know what? Laugh therapy, it, it saves lives. And I said, oh, great, where is it? They said, at St. Joe's in Burbank. And I said, Burbank? Comedy now, stores, right? Here. Now, you were, you were coming to Kill Tony. You joke with your friends, though. That's like one of those ones oh, where you're like. You were coming to Kill Tony like, oh, a year and a half so ago, Rosalie? That joke did not make it out of permission. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> that joke's in palliative care. <laughs> that joke belonged. That joke probably would have done better over at stage four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first thing you did when you found out you were in remission? Or cured. Uh, cured. Cured. Smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> With her tits. <laughs> With heroin. <laughs> I don't remember. You know, at that point, you are you're so you're so out of it. Right. I actually went to a photo shoot for a job, and uh, and I see the pictures now, just so fucking loaded. Let me chemo. You feel nothing. You think crack something? Fucking do chemo. Oh, that you hear that, kids? The new chemo? drug sweeping the nation. It's called chemo. <laughs> That's it. Steve-o, if you do chemo, does that mean you've? Uh, you're falling off the wagon? I don't think so. I, I, try it. I Have you ever like I really missed out. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Steve-O, try it. Everybody's doing it. Hey, I'm Steve-O. Hey, it I'm tastes Steve like strawberries. I'm try chemo today. <laughs> <laughs> this is chemotherapy. <laughs> what made you do that? Fire Angel, by the way. Are you working on like a new project I or am. something, or do you I just like get the Jones to like do crazy shit sometimes? I am working on a new project. Oh wow! Oh. Holy shit! Yeah, thank you. Word to the wise never. to never you, cross my dragons. You can also catch Steve-O performing this year at Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Rosalie, you so you're saying that you started coming here about a year and a half ago. You started watching Kill Tony. You had cancer, and you watched enough Kill Tony to where the cancer went away completely. That's right. This well, is that, the cure. Th that that's just proof once this again, right the there, cure. that we are the number one live podcast in the world. <laughs> you heard it here. We cure cancer at Kill Tony. <laughs> Rosalie, anything else you want to say? No, thank you very there much. There she goes, Bye. Rosalie Mayu. Yeah, fuck cancer. Rosalie Mayu. You guys want to go to the bucket one more time? All right. Then we will.
All right, let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Dustin Hadlock, your final comedian of the night. Dustin Hadlock! Thanks, guys. Uh, so I like punk a lot. I like punk music. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to like this punk band a lot called Anti-Flag. Anybody heard of that band? No? Anti-Flag? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They're like this really like politically American punk band, and they would like talk like they're from the UK on stage, you know? So I remember being in like, you know, high school and seeing anti waiting to see Anti-Flag come out, and they come out, and they're like, Hello! We want to thank you for coming out tonight. But first, we want to say, fuck racism, fuck sexism, fuck homophobia, and most of all, fuck George W. Bush. We're anti-flag from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I, they're doing British accents tonight, too. I, uh, <laughs> I don't like to get along with my, I don't get along with my dad. Because he, because he thought. Come on, this, hey, 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 fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Justin, relax, relax. What's going on, buddy? You're going to be okay? I the got, minute didn't go no, how you I've thought it would? I've went? never gotten called here before. I've signed up six fucking times and I'm here. And you I'm sorry, did you nothing did... with your opportunity. I'm sorry. <laughs> One of these random audience members who haven't signed up six times could have blatantly done a better job than whatever you oh, just did. Oh, okay. Anybody All ready right. for those new anti-flag jokes? Oh, jeez. Huh? That's the market. Oh, Everybody I wants it. Okay. I can't believe those didn't okay. hit. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I should have known, go. Dustin, this wasn't going to go well when I noticed that oh. you are still wearing your Saddle Ranch wristband. No, I got the, this at the. I got this at the Saddle door. Ranch. No, at Saddle Ranch. Oh yeah, this Saddle Ranch. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I remember them checking the IDs. Yeah, yeah. Was I, there actually yeah. more than one anti-flag joke? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Who is that? No one's ever told an anti-flag joke before. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Come there's on. a reason, Dustin. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Oh God. Dustin, do you always dress like a young Forrest Gump? <laughs> yeah. You do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't know. What do you do I don't, for a living? Uh, like every, uh, I work for Postmates and Uber Eats and shit. I do all the. Do you ever do uh, studio audience work? Uh, no, I don't. He's in a group called Anti Gump. Oh. oh. Have, you, have you ever peed into your own mouth? No. No, no. Well, Steve O has. Tell him about yeah. it. Steve. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I knew this was going to happen. How long have you had the cancer from the last woman? Uh, oh, hey oh. Can't answer the question. Uh, <laughs> Dustin, how long have you been doing stand-up? For four years. Wow, really? Wow. Yeah. Four years? And yeah, long, that's when I, start, I started four years ago. How long has the anti-flag joke been killing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Phoenix. How long have you been in LA? Uh, for like three years. Three like years. I, I, I went back to Phoenix for a little bit, but I came back and. Huh. You have yeah. a your, your parents proud of you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because of the Uber Eats thing or because of the bad comedy? Oh. Oh God. Hey, at least you can deliver food. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Five stars all the way. Five stars. Hell yeah. Uber Eats. That's what's the difference between that and Postmates? Nothing. 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 Do you get, well, I mean, I don't know. You make it's it, kind of like the Postmates, difference between. Postmates. You can. I don't know. You kind of difference between and anti-flag and pro-flag. Uh, it's. <laughs> I don't know. What do you, Sorry. <laughs> Stuff so just bringing down my <laughs> shit. Tony. Used to be in the anti-flag. What are you into now? What do you do for fun? Um. You know. Play music. Go to. You, go you to play music. And, and, uh, what do you play? You uh, play drums? I no. I, I uh, no. Not very well. No. Well, no. Neither does. No. Good answer. <laughs> oh. Anti flag. No, okay, you so you're well, free well, of the well, Mexican well, drum well. off. What instrument do you play? You said that you. I can play, play guitar. I play. I play guitar for a long time, but I also go to open mics all the time and. Bass so, or lead. 
Uh, lead, lead, well, there's acoustic guitar, electric guitar. I mean, you know, I, I, have, I know how many guitars. Oh yeah, lead, I mean, I yeah, I can jam along with someone playing you know, lead, play lead or rhythm my, guitar. My friends here, and her father is George Lynch, who was a fucking mean guitarist. Oh uh, okay. Yeah, and she's nice. hot. Tony. Sure, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Dustin, what's one of the weirdest things about you that you normally wouldn't want the public to know, but you're gonna say it out loud anyway? Um. I don't know. What's an um, embarrassing thing that you do on a daily basis, like a part of your routine life? Stand-up like, comedy. Man, I hope nobody ever finds out about this. <laughs> probably I was like, just about to I say know. it. <laughs> probably like, I don't know, just like. What's something embarrassing that you sort of I, makes I you vulnerable? Right. Interactions that I've had with like my friends, like like when we've just like gotten in arguments or fights after being too drunk or something, like, I, th I always get really bent out of shape about that afterwards. What do you mean? What do you do? What makes it so know. bent out of shape? Just getting into arguments about small things. And like turns, what? Turns hey, 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 bigger. Brad can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Um. yeah. Like what? What's I don't know. We'll start off, you know, you're arguing about something small, and then it will turn into a big fight. I can't really think of, like... It starts off with <laughs> Brad and ends up as Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, this is Lord Varys speaking. I know that girl right there. I hung out with her... Cool story, bro. Oh, Jesus. Awkward. She saw me bomb, apparently. She's, she's, Dustin, you're the worst. She's anti-Dustin right the, now. Tony, Tony, can I say Dustin, something? we're going to let you go. All Dustin right, Hadlock, there he goes. We're going to go to the bucket one more time. How about that? Yeah. Dustin, it's not that we didn't enjoy it. No. No. One more minute. Put your hands together for Jerome Tenniso. Jerome? No Jerome? All right, fuck it. Let's end the show. Nah, do one more. One more? You guys want one more? Patrick Riley. Or, yes, Patrick Riley? Patrick Riley? One more? Johnny C. I guess a lot of these lazy fucking comedians want to leave before the end. Daniel Vargas? Hey, wait, there's Michael Crawford. Why don't we just get him back up here again? Put your hands together for Jeffrey Allen, everybody. I feel like he's here. He has good handwriting. Jeffrey Allen? Is this him? Here he comes. Closing out tonight's show. <laughs> Jeffrey Allen. Uh, just FYI, last time I was on here, I did a lot of coke, so I went a little faster and didn't breathe, so I'm going to try to go a little bit better. So, uh, and uh, I'm Jeffrey Allen this time because he didn't say my last time. My name is Jeffrey Frucci. There we go. <laughs> One more? Start talking, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so I think, uh, I know it's been through a lot of stuff, but I still love Bill Cosby, you know? And I kind of wish he would stop and uh, Donald Trump would uh, switch spots. Say that again? I wish Bill Cosby and Donald Trump would switch positions. Right you know? right Louder. Right, right into it. That's it. Louder. Say why, it. Why do you want Bill Cosby and Donald Trump to switch positions? <laughs> So you can grab I feel like Trump by his pussy. Cosby, you know, like I wish I could hear him say you could grab women by the pussy. You know, like I think him saying that would be a lot better than you know. And then uh, I wish Donald Trump could have all the 50 rape allegations and going through court. You know, I just because I still love Bill Cosby as a comedian. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I've never heard the entire audience revolt like this before. We've done about 200 and no murdy episodes of this show, and I've never seen the whole audience at once. Just, Fuck you! We don't want you anymore. fucking loser! And I never would have guessed that somebody would have hacked off of Michael Crawford's performance from earlier. Tony. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. I'm curious, how long have you been a hitman with hacky sacks? <laughs> Think so the about last it. time you were on coke, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe it seems to be the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was told to breathe less. So. Just say yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. What an episode. 
What's your name again? You're Jeffrey Allen, right? Well, you didn't say my name, my name right last time. It's Frucci. Frucci? Frucci? Yeah, F R U C H. No one's ever going to need to know that. Yeah. No, Let's not Jesus. insult fruits at this point. You guys um, are very emotionally moved tonight. Whoa. Ooh. Where are you from? I was born in Michigan. Born in Michigan. I was born okay. in Hawaii before this. What time. age did you get hit in the head with a titanium baseball bat? <laughs> you said that joke last time. No, I know, because yeah. it worked so well on you. I got an applause break both times. It's incredible. So you're, I knew you, it was that good. Were you Sometimes raised I in Michigan or in Hawaii? Hawaii? Born and raised. Born and raised. What part of Michigan? A Beaverton, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah, we had a guy here from Detroit earlier. That's right, 313. Yeah, nine, yeah, nine. I, know, I know what it is. Yeah. We've all seen the Eminem movie. Uh, Anything else for Jeffrey, Steve-O, before we get out of here? Ah, uh, have you ever peed into your own mouth? <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, Jeffrey Allen, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Episode 200 and something of Kill Tony, live from the main room. Look at Ryan J. Ebelt's drawing. Look what he did while you sat there and did nothing. He drew that. You can check it out after the show on the front patio. We're all going to be high-fiving everybody. I'm on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour the entire month of August and some of September. We go all around the country. My awesome agents uh, routed it for me beautifully, and I'm really excited about it. Tickets for that are available at TonyHinchcliffe.com. And uh, Jeremiah Watkins is going to be featuring for me on all those dates. Rock clubs, Gramercy Theater, Aladdin Theater from Portland to New York City, all the way. We're having a blast. Uh, what else, guys? Plug some stuff. Steve-O, go ahead. The great Steve-O was here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. My website is steveo.com. And you do have a ton of awesome merch and stuff available that I've actually checked it out. Well, I, I was about to buy a pair of Steve-O sunglasses. I think well, I'm going they, to. They are available. I might be able to hook you up. Whoa. So. Now nah, nah, we got to buy it, Steve. we got to buy it. <laughs> yeah, nah. and, and God bless you, Tony. You're fucking talented. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so you. much, Steve-O, and thanks for coming on. So, so fun. It's incredible that someone who I loved for shoving stuff up his butt is as truly as funny as you are. It is surprising well, to me. Thank you, man. Thank you for you're, saying that. From, from your asshole to your brain, you're just very impressive. I, well, I love you. Russell Peters, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest comedians in the world. Yeah. Certainly the richest. One of the few people to be on Kill Tony and the Forbes list. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Russell? What do you got coming Let's up? Let's see. We are just for laughs in, uh, next week. Yeah. And then uh, McCaroline's in New York in August. I'm working on my new act right now. So the new tour will start in January. It's Love called that. Deported. And uh, and until then, I'll be in I clubs all around America working on my act. Do you know what part? Do you know what part of August you're at the Gramercy exactly by any chance? Uh, no, I, I oh I see are you at the Gramercy. Do you know, yeah or, or, or no I'm at Caroline's. I mean, uh, Caroline's yeah yeah I'm there the weekend of the McGregor Mayweather fight. So that's when we're there. You should you should maybe come do a pop in at the Gramercy or yeah. hang out with us or something. Let's we're all gonna be that. there. I'm there Wednesday to Saturday. Uh, we're I mean, it's we, sold out, but I'm fucking plug it anyway. Yeah, we're doing the we're doing the same thing. Me and Jeremiah are going to be hanging. And Jeremiah out. is going to be opening for me on some dates, so we got to. Uh, and and Jamar, I got to get both of them. I yeah, owe them monsters, a date. Monsters, monsters. I had to Tarantino knock them off of an Omaha week, date. Watching so. Jamar. Uh, the great Brad Williams, everybody. Tyrion, motherfucking hey. Lannister. That's right. Brad uh, Williams. Uh, just an interesting fact about Brad Williams. Uh, uh -oh. when he plays the clubs. They pay him under the table. Carry on. Go hey on. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for having me. Please check out my podcast, the About Last Night podcast. All three of you have been guests on that podcast. Yep. Yep. And, uh, yes, and it's go to bradwilliamscomedy.com. See me live at a city near you. That's right. Make some noise for the great mother of dragons, Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> Jeremiah's got everything going on. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Follow me on social media. <laughs> and at Jeremiah Stand Up. See me on the Tony Hinchcliffe Monster Energy Drink Tour. And also catch me in Montreal with my show, Stand Up on the Spot, next week, July 25th and 26th at the Catacombs. The article, Jeremiah and, Watkins, part of and, every big and, show. And, Patty Reagan's on Twitter at Patty Reagan. Yeah, Russell? I was just going to say, Jeremiah Watkins is at the Anti-Flag uh, Reunion Tour this <laughs> year. So. You have the actual dragon back there, the bass player, Jeremiah. You want to bring it home? Chris Dillon at Chroma Chris. On Instagram at the Chroma Chris on Twitter, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Boom. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Wayne Harris from Brooklyn, Kill Tony fan, going through some rough times. Want to send him love from the squad, guys. Let's give him a big round of a. That's applause. true. At mostly sorry. 
He's at Mostly Sorry on Twitter. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. Brian Redband. Hey, I'll be in Toronto next week and then next month, Minnesota and Edmonton. Wait, Why are you in Toronto? Uh, 27th, 28th, 29th. That's uh, the fucking day I'm in Montreal. Live audience, we love you. Hey, you are part of the biggest audience we've ever had here at the Comedy Store in our history. Thank you so much for your support. We love you. We'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,